What up players, Warboss Tay back up in this mug, day 14 of my 2017 July painting challenge. It's a wrap up of my second week. Hey, I did it. I'm really, really happy. I hope all of you are progressing well and meeting your goals. I met my goals for week two, which is really awesome because uh, I was anticipating this to be one of my harder weeks, painting 10 models and uh, having them be so detailed is a lot of a, a build upon the five models that I did in week one and uh, I'm really pleased that I was able to get everything done. The scouts are actually deceptively intricate and uh, complicated because you have so many different textures to work on. When you look at your scout models, you don't realize it because I guess in the game they're not very impressive stat-wise as compared to the other space marines and the specialist space marines, but you have a lot of different textured surfaces to work on. You've got the folds of the cloth, the pants, and uh, the shirts, the long sleeve shirts underneath their armor. You've got their armor, you've got their skin on their faces, they've all got unhelmeted heads, and they've all got hair. So you've got a lot of different textured surfaces to work on, and uh, I found that using Nuln Oil as a unifying shade for everything was a huge help. I didn't break up my shade colors, I didn't have flesh shade, I didn't use Agrax Earth shade for some things and Nuln Oil for others. I used Nuln Oil as a general shade over everything, and that was a huge help in this instance. If I was painting a different chapter, like say the Ultramarines or the Blood Angels that need to have different shades and different tones because the armor color is so bright, then I would have gone with colored shades and colored washes. Because these models are following more a more original color structure, the bone colored armor, the dark pants, the uh, black casing on the weapons, I thought that using one unifying shade for everything was the way to go and I'm really really pleased with the way it turned out. So I met my goals, I'm really pleased with uh, how the week turned out. Looking ahead at week three, I'm going to be painting up the three centurions, which is going to be a lot of uh, intricate and uh, blocking out of colors because there are so many parts, there's so many moving pieces to the centurion armor that I'm uh, going to need to plot out you know, how I apply my shades and make sure that everything looks really nice and even. But uh, compared to all of the different colors that I used for the scouts, it's going to be a lot simpler. I'm still working on building the third centurion. I've uh, just got his weapons and arms to put together and the head, but everything else is all built up and ready to go. I'm considering keeping them off of their bases so that I can build up the Desert Badlands base. I'm going to use some crackle paints and um, see if I can do like a cracked earth effect, which is something I've done before for my Thousand Suns, and I'm really kind of looking forward to doing that again. So just to wrap this video up, I met my week two goals. I'm very pleased with how it all turned out. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're interested in uh, what I did and you'd like to copy or replicate the color schemes, I believe I talked about it in a couple other videos, but uh, you can also just ask me you know, anything specific or general about it. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Keep painting, keep working, uh, look at everything you've done for the month so far and hopefully that will motivate you because when I put all 15 models next to each other, I was really really pleased and uh, it really helped kick me into high gear so that I could finish these guys by the end of my deadline. It also ties into my lore master challenge because I'm really trying to uh, get these guys done and uh, not only for my commission and not only for the, the month but because every time I accomplish my goals here in the painting challenge it helps to further develop my story that I'm writing which you can read or hear all about in the lore master videos and then yeah read it when when it's all written. So hey, thanks for watching everybody. You have a great day. Can't wait to see all of your videos in the Google group. Join us and uh, if you haven't started your challenge, think about joining us at any time. We'd love to have you. See you in the next video. Latest players!